evening. We are going to have a very, um, oh, you can please take your seat. Powerful time in the presence of God. Amen. Within um, these days that um, I will be ministering. It's so excited to be here once again. And um, every time I have the opportunity to come here, it's an opportunity for me to learn. And uh, I'm excited I'm here again to be able to learn. I first want to thank God for the life of my spiritual father, the man through whom I have become, whom I am become. Help me celebrate my father, the apostle of grace, apostle Emmanuel Nkum. Thanks so much, Papa. Let it do it better for my spiritual mother, Reverend Mrs. Irajua Nkum. Thanks so much, Mama. And all the great men and women of God in the house. Um, wow. Well, I bring you greetings from my own wife, who happens to be the ever sexy, ever romantic, ever spiritual, ever intelligent. She is the one and only, the mother of my two children, Minel El Bernard and Prophet Minad El Bernard. Well. Okay, well, tonight, turn your Bibles with me to 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 1 downwards. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 downwards. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiced in the Lord. Mine horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies. Because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord. For there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Talk no more exceeding proudly. Let not arrogance come out of thy mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. And by him actions are with. The bows of the mighty men are broken. And they that stumbled are gathered with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. And they that were hungry ceased. So that the barren woman had born seven. And she that have many children is waxed feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifted up. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes. And to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set the world upon it. I'm talking to you in the next few minutes. As I set an atmosphere for the prophetic. On a subject that I have titled. The God of Evidence. Tell somebody the God of Evidence. When you begin to study um, 1 Samuel chapter 2, and Hannah begin to rejoice in the Lord and begin to express his heart of thanksgiving and gratitude to the Lord, it is because there is something that men have termed impossible and that which they have concluded over her life, the Lord had turned it around to be a testimony. And tonight, the Lord is about to usher someone to a realm of glory, a realm of power, that that which they put a full stop on shall become a miracle. Then in 1 Samuel chapter 1, the Bible begins to talk about a man called Elkanah, 
who was from a certain place called Ramatim in Zophim. And the Bible began to take us into the father of Elkanah and the grandfather of Elkanah and the great grandfather of Elkanah, bringing us a prophetic description that no matter who you are and what you have done, some people have helped to bring you to that dimension. And the Bible talks about this guy being blessed to not only have a wife, but have two wives. There is someone under the sound of my voice. The Lord is about to visit you. That that which you thought you could not receive, God is about to give to you. This man did not only have a wife. He had an extension called two wives. Someone here, God will not give you two wives. But apart from wives and husband, everything you are trusting God for, he's about to give you a double. A double miracle in your career. A double breakthrough in your health. Everything you have ever trusted the Lord for, I see the seal of the double coming upon your life. And the Bible talks about how they began to go to the house of God yearly to worship and to sacrifice. That means that every time we have the opportunity to be in the presence of God, it is a prophetic time of intercourse of worship and the ability to release sacrifice in order to touch the God of all flesh. And the Bible said, Anna was married even to Elkanah, and Anna had a rival called Penina. And the Bible said, when it is time for Elkanah to even give to Penina, the Bible said he will give them portion, but when it comes to Anna, Elkanah will give a worthy portion. Someone is about to receive a worthy portion from the Lord. And the Lord had already closed the womb of Hannah. God is about to do something that your natural mind would not be able to understand. There is a miracle coming out of the throne room of God that is about to shake your foundation. And the Bible said his rival began to provoke him. I don't know if there is someone here who is being provoked by the issues of life, by the situation that you have gone through. But every provocation is about to give up to the God of evidence in the mighty name of Jesus. And there was a time where Hannah was in the house of God. And Hannah began to look at the provocation of Penina and this kept on drawing her closer to God. Every time you go through a situation that seemed to take your glory away, it seemed to provoke you. I remember many years ago, anointed as I was, I was being provoked by situation. I was anointed but did not have the evidence of the anointing. It is possible to find yourself in a situation where everybody call you blessed, but inwardly you know you are not blessed. There is a dimension where everybody will think that everything is working on for you, but you know it is not working on for you but tonight the God of evidence is about to give somebody a shake a shift that will turn your life around uh, tonight I'm just laying a foundation tomorrow I come and prophesy when you lifted up your hands you, you let me talk because no I did not come to prophesy but you write Mausi write Mausi down I will come to it very soon Right, Mao, sit down. I'll, I'll come. Then, then, write Kwame. Kwame for yourself. Down. I'll, I'll come to it. I'll come to it. Father, about about oh shit, did he believe it? Oh, just sit down. I'll come. I'll come to it. I'll come to it. Anna was provoked, and a provocation drew her closer to the Lord. Many people in seasons of provocation move far away from God. The difference between what happens to you in the seasons of trial is what you do. Hannah kept on going closer to the Lord. And the Bible says that one day Hannah was in the house of God. And while she was in the house of God, she was in bitterness of soul. Many are in the church, but they are wounded. Many are in his presence, but they are not healed. But there is a day God is about to visit you. 
and that day is tonight and when that visitation come God begin to turn things around in your life so Bible said after they had eaten Hannah rose up and entered into Shiloh it was then that she began to pray unto God the prophet of God was in Shiloh but when the prophet began to even judge the movement of the lips without hearing words coming out the prophet began to judge with the seeing of the eye and even the hearing of the ear and the prophet concluded that there was something wrong with Hannah but Hannah poured her heart out to the prophet and tonight someone is going to pour his or heart to the Lord now and immediately the man of God said go and let the Lord grant you all your request I, I am a prophet by God and I wish that many people would be very prophetic like Hannah when you read further the Bible said when Hannah went she changed her countenance she began to eat because when a prophet began to speak in the name of the Lord you need to hold that word because that word has the power and the ability to bring you into the God dimension to create that which did not exist so immediately Hannah received that word she went to it before she entered into church she was in bitterness of soul but by the time she encountered a prophetic word from the lips of Eli she changed I tell people all I need any day any time is one sure word from God and somebody there is a God of evidence who want to give us evidence tonight evidence tonight you have tried everything naturally speaking there is the next dimension where God is about to set in and when God steps into it that miracle will come today we are opening an atmosphere for the prophetic so all of us can get into it I don't know what you are trusting God for but the same God of evidence who came through for Hannah and gave Hannah just a Samuel and Samuel's name is now recorded as a book that God want to give you the same thing I don't know what you are trusting God for but before I left the house I asked God a couple of questions and the Lord said to me since you started coming to the radiant place what I'm about to do within the days you've been ministering it has never been witnessed in your life in the radiant place before I heard him clearly I heard him speaking that word I heard him I heard him I heard him a baby is coming coming from a nation outside Ghana for you you a baby is coming from a nation outside Ghana for you I <laughs> oh, love, love, love. oh, tonight I did not come to go deeper. I came here to create an atmosphere. I came to create an atmosphere. Just, just get ready to create an atmosphere. Something more than gold. I've got something more than gold. Something more than gold. I've got something more than gold If all I have is you I've got something Just release your faith tonight I'll tell it to the world Jesus Something more than gold I, I don't like that song I don't want something more than gold Pure than Whiter than snow, deeper than the ocean, wider than the sea, higher than the mountains. You're my everything. You are great. You are kind. Oh God, oh daddy. In you I put my 
my trust to walk again for everything I am I owe to you of any way there is nothing impossible or too hard for you to do you are bigger than what we call you and oh Adi in you I put my trust to walk again Your hand towards me now. 
wherever you are. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I have stretched my hand. As I have stretched my hand. I demand right now. I demand right now. Whatever. Whatever. That belongs to me. That belongs to in me. In this gathering. In this gathering. Whatever. Whatever. That belongs to me. That belongs to in me. In this convention. In this convention. Whatever. Whatever. That belongs to me. That belongs to me. In this conference. In this conference. I receive it. 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 Sit down. We want to create an atmosphere so that by tomorrow we'll be able to work. So I'm just trying to do one or two things. Whilst I was standing here, the angel of the Lord moved to the back. And immediately we got to the back. The Lord showed me a situation. And when I look at the situation, I saw my dear brother. And I saw many people around him. And I saw our brother helping these people. And I saw immediately these people get their breakthrough. They turn their back on my brother. And I saw they keep doing it. And the Lord said to me, look. Then I looked and I saw that the season of Anna has already come. And, and there is a man who is into crude oil. But the man is in Nigeria as I'm talking. Is in Nigeria as I'm talking. And the Lord said, we should pray for you. That that man in Nigeria will come to Ghana. Or you will go to Nigeria. That that connection will happen. That all that within a period of 18 years, you keep losing, you will receive them without struggle. You keep, you receive them without struggle. Brother, the other thing you need to do, is because when you started life, everyone was rooting out for you, that you were going to do it. In your family, everyone was looking up to you. But the problem came when you went away from the presence of God. And the Lord said, get more closer. What did you attend? Are you a member here? Yes, please. You a member here? Yes, Get please. more closer. Because that miracle will turn things around in your life. Stretch forth your hand. And begin to pray for Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Lord, let it be released. Let it be released. Restoration all around. All around restoration. All run restoration. All run restoration. Let it be the portion of your servant. 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 Lord, I thank you. And I call it done. Please, the two of you come. A baby has been released from outside of Ghana. Amen. And, and, and I see that when this child comes, it's a prophetic child. That out of this child, many doors will be open. And suddenly, you will begin to travel. So much that it's like they will give you like a diplomatic passport. And you will be needed around the world. Stretch for your hands and begin to pray for them. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Kada da bado shibaha. Maya da bado shibi. Ma kada bada baha. Aya barada shabaha. Kanda li bada bada bada. Father, I call it done. Sir, let's pray for you. Let's pray for you. When I was talking and uh, you just got up. The Lord just opened my eyes into a situation. And in a situation, my eyes was open. And I saw someone. And I saw this person came in the contact with someone who had COVID-19. 
Then I saw in the person's ability to treat COVID-19, the person died. And it's mousy. can never happen because God is in control. It can, but you know mousy? Yes. Who is that? She's my niece. Niece? Yes. Do you know Kwame? I am Kwame. You are Kwame. Because after that, it would have come to you, Kwame. Mousy. And God want to preserve not only Mousy, but also want to preserve Kwame. Thank you. He want to preserve you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Stretch your hand and begin to pray. Father, we ask for your preservation. Preserve your servant. Protect your servant. Leko We set ahead of Father, I give you glory. Father, I give you glory. Father, I give you glory. Amen. Once you have spoken, twice have I heard that all power belongs to you alone. And when you have spoken, it surely comes to pass that all of God will fall upon you. Amen. The grace of God will fall upon you. Amen. And the hand of the Lord will be established upon your life. Amen. And the Lord will pick you and separate you. Amen. And he will separate you from your desire. Amen. And separate you from your ways. Amen. And he will bring you to the way of the Lord. Amen. And he will cause you not to desire the things that naturally you desire. Amen. For he will cause you to sacrifice your ambition. And you hold on to his vision. For he will feed you with the word. Amen. And as he feed you with the word, you will begin to feed people with the word. Amen. For the Lord will say, I have called him, even as a prophet, Amen. even to bear my word Amen. to a people that he doesn't know. For the Lord will say, you will not do the work of God even on this land called Ghana. For I will send you even where people that you don't know. Amen. For the Lord will begin to deal with your emotion. Amen. 
Amen. And even anything that has to do with anger, the Lord will begin to work on it. Amen. And the Lord will bring you to a realm where even the fruit of the Spirit will begin to develop and grow in your life. Amen. For that which God wants to do for you, move beyond the comprehension of the natural mind. Amen. For you shall become a great mouthpiece of the Lord. Amen. For you will hear from him and he will speak for him. Amen. You will hear from him Amen. and he will speak for him. Amen. Stretch your hand and begin to pray for him. Makada da do she baha make be Europa da Rus Malabada bada 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 sha like a sita so for the coach Gada bada 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 sha baha Malabada bada da da sha baha Kabato she in Jesus name Amen Please get that for me Get that for me God is with you God is with you. Amen. And he will keep you. Amen. And he will keep you. Amen. Recitation to hospital. Amen. Hospital. Hospital. I don't know what that means. Amen. You were a nurse. Recitation to the hospital. But God will keep you. Amen. God will keep you. Amen. Where do you come from, please? Evelyn. Evelyn. Where is it? In the water region. And where is your mother? My mother is dead. Dead. Where is your father? The same thing. The same thing. My father too is dead. Do you have any um, grown up who knows how you were born? Yes. So go and My ask them about your name, Mausi. Okay. Go and ask about Mausi. I don't know if you, what that, you know they named you Mausi. Yes, they you gave me Mausi. They, they named you Mausi. Yes. Okay. Now, did they tell you why they named you Mausi? Yes. Because my mother have four boys and I'm the a girl among them. So, when my mother gave birth to me, she said I'll be named Mausi. That is not the reason they name you Mausi. Go deeper. Um, your mother had a friend. The friend was called Auntie Akpene. Auntie Akpene was very helpful. And there was a time Auntie Akpene helped your mother. Because of a difficult situation uh, your mother went through. But later on, your mother find out that the help that she received was not from Auntie Akpene, but was from Auntie Akpene's mother, who was called Mausi. So they decided to name you even after Auntie Akpene's mother. Now, why am that's I... That's my grandmother. That's your grandmother. Yes. Why am I telling you this thing that I'm telling you? Because of that name, the Lord said, what should have happened even many years ago that someone would have come from Auntie Akpene's family even to have become a member of parliament the Lord said, it is coming upon you. Amen. That someone will come from your loins Amen. and will become a politician and will contest for a seat. And this guy will sit on the seat even as a member of parliament. Amen. And the Lord said, I should tell you, it is not because of you. It is because of the name Mausi that is upon you and the root of that name. This is the word of the Lord. Can you stretch your hand and begin to pray for it? Ah, Lord will give you glory. 
father will call the judge. Please let me go. Uh, in the realm of the spirit, I see like your two hands has been tied. And I see you are in a place. Where would these two hands you are trying to pick many things? But because the hands is tied, you are not able to take them as you want. And I'm asking the Lord, what is it? And the Lord said, you are supposed to be a helper to many. But instead of having what it takes to help them, they have tied your hand. But tonight the Lord said he is releasing you. So that the things you have always desired, even to do by helping people, you will be able to do it. You will be able to do it. For the Lord will say he will send you a man. And this man is an influential person. He is called Thomas. He is called Thomas. And the Lord said he will use Thomas even to open certain doors even for you. Can you stretch your hand and begin to begin to begin to pray? Ah. Ah, if you can speak in tongues, begin to speak in tongues. I am Prophetic oil. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh Lord, thank you. Mm. Lift up your voice and just begin to pray. Uh, lift up your voice. 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 Lift up Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is only one in name. There is only one name. The power to save. Only one name with power to 
tongues that begin to speak in tongues, begin to speak in tongues. Eh mamoro roba ko shabara baraba Eh mamoro roba ba ko tere baba da ba shabara Eh mamara da kada da shanda mara da shabara ba Eh mara da do shenda mara da ko dali mara ba Eh mara da shabara da baba kamoro roba Eh mamoro ro kanta di mara ba shonda ba Ah ya mara da kanda mara ba shanda mara ba Oh, Lord will give you glory. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus name Father we thank you do it once again in Jesus name Amen now by the grace of God the atmosphere is already stirred up for the prophetic I'm going to drop the microphone right now what I need you to do is uh, tomorrow make sure you know your house address make sure you know your id number every kind of id number every kind of because we are going to travel a little bit tomorrow my, my first days in meeting i create an atmosphere for the prophetic so that i can prophesy my name is bernard l bernard Tomorrow, by the grace of God, when you are coming, get a bottle of oil. I'm talking for five minutes tomorrow, and I'm prophesying. God bless you.